Jesus tells us this little parable about lost people being found. He compares the lost people to a silver coin, a lost silver coin. Now in our day and age, with rising inflation, a silver coin is for most of us not a big deal. I'm sure we would all prefer notes. Back in the day, the coin, the denarius, was an average day's wage. For a woman, it may, it may have had more significant use than just spending money. In the society of Jesus, time, in Jesus' time, it could have been part of a wedding headdress of 10 coins, which would have taken years to save. Compare its loss of something today, I would say it's something which would have been a lost stone in an engaged woman's engagement ring, or John losing his keys to his Bentley, and William losing his ear and aids again. <laughs> so as Jesus tells this parable, we get this picture of a woman having lost something of real value. Jesus is comparing this woman to God and the coin to the lost sinner. A fairly brave thing to do back in the day, comparing God to a woman. One item that the woman used to find the coin was a lamp. We are, like, we are the light of the world and I'm sure that everybody here would like to bring light into the darkness. This is not the tool I want to talk about. She had another tool and the tool is Now you might be thinking, what about the broom? Well, as you can see from the stone example of the broom, I hold, well, I put it here, but I hold in my hand. There's a couple of fairly important features to any broom. The head and the handle. Back, back to those in a minute. What's this sweep the house thing all about? Well, the house was dark and the lamp was a tiny oil-filled lamp that put about as much light as a candle. The woman she was accustomed with, she had two, two senses, her vision and her hearing, to find this valuable lost coin. The house was still darkish and the broom was used so that the woman could hear the coin as it was swept. Looking as she swept with a glint of light, listening to the sound of the broom brushing the coin, the head of the broom, bristles used for sweeping. The handle of the broom, in the hands of the woman knowing where to sweep, responding to the movement of her wrist and arm, looking for what is lost. Here she was sweeping the whole house. Today, I want to ask the question, in our relationship with God, in your relationship with God, are we willing, are you willing, to respond to the movement of his arm. Maybe you are new to the idea of something of value to God or lost people of value to God. Are you like a new groom that is still waiting to be bought from the shop? Or a broom that has never been engaged in its role, having never made the decision for him? Maybe you are resting like a broom, tucked away in a cupboard, Maybe a little concerned that God might not get you to sweep in places that are uncomfortable, preferring just to be waiting, not sweeping. You may be sweeping for the loss in places that he calls you to go. The thing is that the broom is, that is not used for sweeping is just a funny looking stick. God seeks after the loss. We can ask ourselves, are we doing our part in the sweep for their redemption? Am I doing my best to be used in God's hands to help save the lost from their sinners or from their sins? The other thing with a broom is that it is also used to maintain a standard of cleanliness. As Christians, we can show how we live our lives under the guidance of his hands. Just maybe we'll be warned just as the bristles of the broom, <clears throat> a little 
damaged, but still be able to sweep, eventually well worn for his kingdom. Of these two brooms, the new one and the well worn one, answer this, which is achieved more, which would be able to tell the best stories. The interesting thing with this parable is that the, when the coin is found, there's a great celebration, which Jesus compares it to a celebration in heaven, when a sinner repents. God celebrates when the lost are found. The heavenly angels <coughs> celebrate in heaven. The point is, as we allow ourselves to be held in God's hands and to respond in his Holy Spirit, moving the way he wants us to go, we are part of his work, bringing the lost into the, his kingdom. I don't know about you, but the idea of being partly responsible for a party in heaven is far more exciting than being part of any party here on earth. I suggest that for any of us to be useful and used to God's work, God will want us to take hold of a clean handle, and I go to say even a holy handle that is willing to be used for his kingdom. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not about the work, but the relationship between, between the broom and the sweeper. As we respond to God, you may be thinking, I am not holy. I'm struggling with this and that. How can God use me? I am too young or too old. I'm at times out of control. The thing is that all Christians are sinners saved by the grace of God. None of us was born saved. Like the broom, if Christians wants up, was if Christian wants to have their relationship with God and wants to be used more effectively in his hands, this requires change. Change in life's direction, that's what repentance is. <clears throat> this starts with a decision to change the head to a new direction, allowing God to take over and guide the direction of our lives, just as the sweepers, sweepers directs the broom. God will direct our lives as we respond to that directing. Great things can and will happen for his kingdom. There will be much celebrating in heaven. Are you willing to take play the part, responding to the Spirit of God, because you can also take part in bringing forth celebrations in the presence of the angels in glory? Will you be the broom?